guys, welcome back to another episode of Football Manager 2017. This is me, Tonkerton. How are you guys doing? I know it's been a while. I am sorry about that. But I'd, I'm a full-time law student and I also work full-time as well. Therefore, I just had to get everything sorted for the last week of the term. I am now off for a month, so videos should be coming back pretty regularly. So as you can see, we are back in with Southampton. I have changed the formation. Let's get to run you through a couple of the last games that we've had. We have been on a terrible run. The last game I did live con for you was the Warsaw game, where we lost 2-0, where our goalkeeper got injured, which is just typical. Then we lost 3-1 against West Ham. And then we went and got pounded 6-3 against Man City at home. It was at this point where I decided we need to change up the tactic. So that's exactly what I've done. So I've looked at the team, looked at our strengths and weaknesses, and I've changed up the tactic. I've gone to a 4 4 2 with Davis and Hughes in the centre of midfield. Davis as a deep line playmaker and Will Hughes as centre mid defend. I've also got Nathan Redmond and Shane Long on the wing. That's due to a couple of injuries that we've got in suspensions. I've gone with Charlie Austin and Ryan Siegel up top, and the back four is pretty set with Bertrand, Van Dijk, Jose Font, and Cedric. And I've got a regular goalkeeper, Fraser Forster, in the nets. So, what I'm going to do for you today, as you can see, we are in January still. I am going to do the Stoke game, and I'm going to do the Swansea game as well. I am going to see if we can get anyone in the transfer market, because we have got some wage budget left over so I'm gonna see if we can actually do anything do anything with that so hopefully we'll go into today's game and see if we can pick up a win against Stoke but yeah I do apologize for the lack of videos Um, it's been pretty hectic for me these days hectic with university hectic with work so but like I said I do promise to get some videos out for you to get some quality content have got myself a new microphone as well, so hopefully the audio quality is a lot better as well. And as you can see from the start of the video, there is an intro as well, which I've developed while I've been not recording videos. So hopefully that's that goes down well for you. Um, any thoughts, comments on the intro or the audio quality or any other aspects of the video, let me know and I will improve as I have been doing. So let's get into the game and see what we can do. Okay there guys, we're back at the game. I just had to take a pre pause just to let the game load. We are favourites to win this against Stoke. We are away. I'm not as confident. I have had a little team meeting as well just to try and improve the morale of the squad. So let's get into the game and see what we can do. We'll send the assistant to that. They've gone for a very defensive tactic with 4-1-2-2-1. Interesting. So we'll see what we can do with this. Let's do the team talk. Motivate the boys. And let's get into the game. We'll skip the formalities. So kick off highlight. Let's see if we can do anything here. Nothing really usually really happens on the kickoff. Hughes. Bertrand, Anatovic gets the ball, gives it back to Bertrand, Charlie Austin up the top, passes it wide to Shane Long, Shane Long down the wing, Shane Long crosses it in, Redmond, Redmond shoots and Redmond scores, what a way to get back on form, change of formation is doing wonders, let's have a look at that, Shane Long down the wing, with an excellent cross, over to Nathan Redmond, and Nathan Redmond shoots and puts it in the back of the net. What a goal that was. Thank you very much. 1-0 Southampton. So we're back again. Davis with the free kick to Will Hughes. Will Hughes to Cedric. Cedric. Back to Davis. Gives it to Hughes. Hughes. The ball again. Back to Davis. To Hughes. Can't really do anything with the ball. Virgil van Dijk. 
So you got Shane Long three. Shane Long shoots and Shane Long scores. 2-0 to Southampton. We are back on winning ways. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, let's have a look at that goal again. Virgil to Austin. Seager plays it through to Shane Long. Shane Long pokes it over the goalkeeper into the back of the net. 2-0 Southampton. Yeah, I just want to say thank you to everyone who watched the videos. Comments and likes are always appreciated. Austin, Redmond. Redmond shoots. Redmond just plays it wide. Yeah, I just want to say thank you again. Subscribe, comments, likes. I've had a lot of positive feedback from friends and family who've watched the video. I've took a look at the analytics. Austin, sorry, I'm sorry, like off oh, Charlie Austin with the goal. 3 0. Wasn't expecting this at all. Up into eight. But yeah, as I was saying, I had a look at the analytics and there's a lot of people from areas that I didn't really expect. So yeah, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's watching the videos. And like I say, I will respond to every single comment. I want to I wanna get as much interaction with the fan base as possible. So any comments you've got, positive or negative, I will respond to it and I will make sure I do better. And actually listen and take on board what you're saying. So I'm just going to send them out for the second half as they were. Kick off highlight, nothing really much happens. Hughes, Shane Long, Seager. Again, I don't even know why I've ever commented on that. Cedric gives it to Whelan. Cotabaya up the wing. Fraser Forster with a rather dramatic save. Fraser Forster kicks it out. You are in relative control of the game. 13 shots, 7 on target, 54% possession. Cedric coming out with the ball. Gives it to Charlie Austin. Charlie Austin loses it. And out of it comes back and says, Will Hughes with the tackle. What a tackle, my son. Redmond to Austin. Austin, what's he going to do with it? Crosses it in. Lucky throw in. I am going to make a couple of substitutions. I'm going to bring on Hodgeberg for Will Hughes. And I'm going to bring on a young right back as well. Val Valerie, Valerie, I don't know how to pronounce that. I do apologise. Valerie, more than likely. See what, how, what he can do. Let's start, restart the game. But yeah, this is a pretty solid performance from Southampton. 3 0 against Stoke. I know they are languaging in 16, but given our form, this is exactly what I wanted. 70 minutes in, nothing much happening still. Still not much happening. I am going to cut all this out. So, Valerie's got the ball. Gives it straight to Eric Peters to Carter Bayer. Carter Bayer comes up the wing. Is he going to get stop crosses in? Peter Crouch. Peter, is he still in the game? Peter Crouch with the fifth goal of the season. Carter Bayer up the wing. A young right back should have done something with that. But didn't do anything and then Peter Crouch just followed it home. I am going to go defensive even though it's not much left. But we should be running out winners 3 1, which is a good performance, I think. Carter Bayer to Anatovic puts it wide, and that's got to be game over. That has got to be game over. 3 1. Excellent performance from the lads there. Excellent performance. So, yeah, as I say, I am going to try and do a bit more transfers in the transfer window. Any news, I will come straight back to you. And if there isn't anything, I will come back to you for the game against Swansea. Alright guys, I'll see you then. Okay guys, and we are back for the game against Swansea City. We've had a bit of an injury crisis during the transfer window. I haven't been able to get in any cover. We've got Charlie Austin and Ryan Seager out. I both started in the last game. They are now injured. Ryan Seager's out for 10 days and Austin's out for another 10 days. So we've had to do a bit, a bit of a reshuffle. I've had to put in Nathan Redmond in as the false nine. And Shane Long in as the advance forward with World Prowse on the right and Buffal on the left. But other than that, we are going with an unchanged side. So I'm going to go straight into the game. And we'll go and see if we can get a result against Swansea City. 
Yeah, we didn't actually do any any business during the during the January transfer window. Um, mainly because I didn't really have enough money to do anything. I know we had the wage budget left, but I didn't really think we needed anyone. I know we've been in a bit of bad form, but I think the squad we've got is decent enough to at least challenge for Europe. And there was there wasn't anyone available that I wanted, or even in my price range. So that's why we didn't do any business there. So I'm just hoping that I made the right choice, and we'll see where we go from here. Sigurdsson, kick off highlight. Nothing really happening. Bertram with the ball. Davis. Plays it up towards long. Nathan Redmond collects it. Nathan Redmond drives into the box, shoots, puts it wide. Goal kick to Swansea City. Not really much happening in the opening stages of the game. Yeah, I apologise for the poor commentary, by the way. I, it is going to take me a while to get up to speed with the commentary and to make sure there's no long pauses. I, I realise there is, and there's a lot of stuttering, a lot of, a lot of um, repeat what I say. But as I go along with the YouTube videos, making them, editing them. Hopefully that will become better and there'll be less pauses and less stuttering. And Montero scores. Right in the middle of my what I was saying. That's just not cool. That's just not cool. So Lennon puts it in Skirtson. Lennon plays it back out, crosses it in. And then Montero heads it in. Shocking. We can see too many goals like that. We are. But yeah, as I was saying, as I as the as I progress, the quality of the videos will get better. So stick with me, stick with it. Try and muddle through. I know they're not quality yet, but that I am getting there. So I promise you, they will get there. Looks like it's coming to half time. It is going to be one nil. I'm going to send them back out there. See. If we can actually get some form going again, everyone's fired up. Start the second half. Stand the kickoff highlight. Nothing's going to happen. One of these days, something's going to happen at one of them. Fernandez with the ball plays it up to Lorente. Montero gets it. Come on, just put in a tackle. Who's that? Cedric put in a tackle. Lorente shoots. Lorente scores. Fernando Lorente. The quality Spanish striker. I don't even want to watch the replay. I'm not sure what we can do to change this around. I'm going to bring on a couple of substitutions. I'm going to bring on Hirschberg for Will Hughes because he's having a really bad game. Target on for Bertrand. And I'm going to put into attacking with work the ball into the box on. See if that helps. See if that helps and see if we can actually get a goal in this game. We're not in it at all. Cedric with a throw in to Davis. Back to Cedric. Crosses it into Buffel. Penalty. Swansea going to counter. Cork to Borgia. Good tackle by Jose Font to Davis. Out to Ward Prowse. Down the wing with Ward Prowse. Crosses it in. Shane Long's there. Shane Long heads it in. There's one back. The comeback's on. The comeback is on. Shane Long. Ward Prowse down the wing. Excellent cross. Then Shane Long with the header. Past the keeper. Questionable goalkeeping there by Fabianski. Is it worth going into overload for the last 10 minutes? We all know nothing happens in overload, but I'm going to try it anyways. Nothing happened. Oh, Ward Prowse. Shane Long. Game over. 2-1 Swansea. They, I am disappointed with that. We should have won that at home as well. We are in 8th position. We are a point ahead of Chelsea. And 6 points behind West Ham. So we need to start getting a run of form going. We do. So I am going to come back to you to do the last game, the second leg of the Dynamo game. So we'll do we'll do that game, the Champions League, 
Champions League. Europa League first knockout round, leg two, at home. So we'll do that, and I might do the Tottenham game as well. I don't know yet. See how I feel. All right, guys. Until then, it's been time for turn. See ya.